Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we get the first story mode trailer for Injustice 2 called Shatter Alliances. Finally! Part 1. Not finally part 1, but you know what I mean though. It's finally, we finally get the first a legit, you know, what's the story truly going mm, on. Yeah, right? now, um, this is actually, fun fact, this is our second look at the story mode. Because we yeah. got a snippet of it during the, um, the lady, the... I'm just going to lay some injustice trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ladies yeah. of injustice. Yeah, we got to sneak peek it out with the cat wound part. Yeah. So, so now we have full blown part. Um, we've talked. Okay, we've talked about the story mode numerous times on all our injustice two videos, but just as a slight refresher, uh, thanks to our DC superheroes going over to the injustice world, they stop. They stop dictator Superman. We he's been captured. It's over with, and the world is safe once more. Or is it? Yeah. The usual or is it? The, 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 just the thoughts of it pretty much. So in that t that one trailer they had um, where it, it seems like, it feels like somehow Brainiac is using this to his advantage. Yeah. Despite yeah, despite Superman being in prison for a while now, he even still believe. despite that, he still believes the world should be under his thumb. Under his thumb pretty much. And Brainiac is using this again, I, I'll repeat it again, under his... He's using this to his advantage so he can use the heroes you know, to work for him without them realizing it. Yeah. That's what it feels like. Hence the name Shatter Alliances. Because yeah. now it's gotten to a point now is with a bigger threat looming, do you team up with who were with the regime and do you team up with... Like who do you side with pretty much you know, during do, that time? Are, do, are they going to need Superman to stop Brainiac? Yeah. I mean, Brainiac's more and more Superman villains. So like... Yeah, but Ooh, Brainiac's probably gonna be a fucking bonus character. I just realized that. Yeah, but mm -hmm. um, let's take a look at this and let's just go from here. See if uh, any rumors were true or what new stuff or what interesting story they're working with. Because the last story was I thought was amazing that they did for the well, game. Ne well, another room is now actually now well known for their pretty solid story modes. Story like, modes, yeah. Like Mortal Kombat X was like while Mortal Kombat X's story mode was short, I did still enjoy it. Yeah, so yeah. let's take a, a look, take a look at this for Injustice Shattered uh, Alliances Part One. So here we go. In my years fighting crime, I've learned one truth. Mayor Kevin Connor. That every villain is the hero of his own story. Red sunlight. That's the problem with fighting for truth and justice. The battle never ends. When does it stop? When there's no more crime. Oh, he gets out. We are at war with these animals. Cyborg! Hey, Carrie Fee is back. Hope isn't enough to save the world. None of us wanted this. You're either with me or against me. We both knew it had come to this. It was only a matter of time. I'll try to make it painless. Is that the same voice from the Animated Series? I think so. Tim, was it Tim Daly? Yeah, I think it is. Try his name. Ooh. Oh, shit. He, he fires him into the Parademon world. Into Apocalypse. Oh yeah, because like you told me, he his his most part of his mechanics are based around uh, one of the boom boxes. Oh, of course, um, uh, Dark Side. No, Mother Box. No, no, I'm saying no, I'm saying in the video All right now. No, I'm talking about for the Mother Box. I forgot. Yeah, Mother Box, correct, Jim. Mother Box. Okay, that was okay. It was interesting. It looks like now Superman he escaped somehow, and now Batman is like. I guess he knows about the at the, by that point in this cutscene yeah. he knows about the Brainiac right, and now he's trying to reason with him. He's trying to reason him to work together to take down Brainiac and what yeah. he's trying to do, but it's just like it's not nothing sinking it's, into Superman. And it makes sense he shows us Arkham. What was his whole thing? I mean, Jesus Christ, the Joker thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so like he shows up, of course, and Batman knows that he's gonna show up to kill the criminals. So like that's where he shows up, and like. I can see the problem. I can see the issue Supergirl is going to have in this story. It's like, to, try to do work. you align with your your cousin despite what he he's done to this you world? Know, and despite or, to, and also despite of what he's taught you. 
Or do you align with Batman, the man who put your cousin in prison? Yeah, you know, it's like you, you side with the person that taught you about hope and and pretty much, you know, how to be a good hero, you know? And another thing we... Okay, one thing we don't see is does the... um. Does our Earth DC heroes show up again? It doesn't show yeah, that. It doesn't show that. But do, do they show, show up? Do, is like, are they going to need their help again, or what's what's going on? Or is on? this just an injustice focused story? I believe it's going to be more injustice focused, where it's like now trying to find a way to bring these heroes back together again. You know, and yeah. it's and I like his prison cell too. They recreate the Red Sun. Yeah, that's what they did. Which is a smart way to do it. Um, uh, we got Cyborg, who looks like. Ooh. The definition of this trailer, <laughs> mm -hmm. it looks like his alliance is wary right now. It's very in between, but you can he, tell. He launches you into the parademon world. That's his ultimate. And into apocalypse, pretty much. Yeah. That's what he does, because remember, because they now they confirm, they fully confirm, not only for movie wise, but overall in the comics now, that his whole armor, his whole pretty much suit yeah. is from apocalypse. Parts of it is from apocalypse, from the mother box. You know, it consumed it pretty much. So. You know, it's confirming that, so he's able to control all of that. But yeah. you got you got to see a little bit of his super, which is pretty cool. A little bit of action. Um, yeah, okay. There wasn't much in terms of like action based game. Not, yeah, not I like a, like a lot of like full on fight scenes, but it just it showed a lot of. And of course, you see part. a little bit of Robin trying to contemplate with Batman about what's going on. Of you course. Know? So it's, it seems very interesting. From what I learned in Mortal Kombat, is that they choose characters. Based off, I, it seems like they choose their base off their story mainly. Like, like yeah. why are they there? Like, there's a reason. Like, you know, we got three members of the Johnny Cage family in it. You know, yeah. things like that. So my question is, how do all the characters? Like, there's gonna be a shit ton. Yeah. But there's gonna be a good chunk in the story. So like, how does Swamp Thing, for example, factor fit, fit into? In. Like, fit I know why Black Canary would fa factor into this after what happened to Green Arrow in the last game. Um, it's like all these characters are showing. You know, you feel like they're gonna have a key element in the game. Yeah, so, so they have a, they're gonna have a key specific role they have to play in the game. Like uh, from what I see about Swamp Thing is like Brainiac's a threat to the Greens, what he calls pretty much the plant life, the yeah. Greens. So he'll help out to the best of his ability. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I mean, I think this first part is showing us uh, is probably gonna be showing us more of the hero side. And then the other part uh, was is more of what's going on with the heroes, and the other parts can probably show in what Brainiac sees and what he's planning to do or anything like that. You know, something. That's what I believe. You know, where it's like showing what he's doing on his part. I think that's yeah. the second part of the tra this trailer that we're gonna get. Yeah. But it seems interesting so far. Yeah, definitely. Where they're going. Definitely interesting so far. It's at part one, so we're probably gonna get in our trailer down the road soon, pretty much. Yeah. Because you know it too, they've been unveiling a lot of characters recently. Well, they've they've been listening to what you just said, pretty much. Yeah. Like, they need with, to start with them sneaking in the announcement of Cyborg returning in this trailer. Yeah. With the awesome Carrie Payton returning as yeah. well as a voice. Mm -hmm. So, I'm still interested in the story mode. I'm not gonna get the game. You're gonna get the game. You'll probably I, borrow it from me, but either we've way. we've had this conversation like five times already. Yeah. But yeah, essentially, me play. His game, me enjoy story mode watching him play. Yeah, but then, yeah. I can't wait for the second trailer because, like I said, I think that's what the, the second one's going to be. The part two is going to be about is more of how Brainiac is fitting into all of this. Yeah. So we'll probably see that. And in they the may, part. yeah, they may sneak in a flat uh, or flash on Brainiac because they've already, they already, um, like unintentionally confirmed it with the pre-order costumes. Yeah, but um, we'll get, you know, like I said, we'll see. Hopefully, the next trailer will probably will probably leak it out anyways yeah. as well. But, you know, we'll probably hear more char new characters that we're going to expect to see. Hopefully, some brand new characters. Um, but, like I said, just to see where Brainiac fits in all of yeah, this. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and other than that, though, if you like this video, hit the like button down below. If you like us talking... Oh, if you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else, when it comes to talking about stuff like this, subscribe down below or at the end of this video. And again, just put down your comments below what you think, what's going on. I mean, um, I mean, are you interested in what's going on with this story, where they're going with it? Um, it seems very, it, very, it seems very interesting. I mean, I really can't wait to play this game. This is gonna definitely be the game I'm pre-ordering. I mean, I really, right as of right now, 
I've been really pre-ordering pre -ordering on games pretty much, but this is definitely a game that's on my list that I want to 100% pre-order the, the, the highest version of it. Yeah, it I, also, um, I watched, I'm sorry to interrupt, I watched the... Uh, Angry Joe did a reaction to a trailer. And yeah, I know, I saw it. He saw, he saw where you compare the prices. I and saw. The prices are actually they're fair, reasonable. They fairly are fairly reasonable for what you're they're, getting. They're reasonable. They so are I am still not behind a pre order character. A pre order bonus character. Yeah, but. Pre order to get Dark Side. Okay, that sucks. This means we're going to get them down later on the road. Oh, yeah, that. like with um, Goro and X. To me, it's that's a, that's a whole different other topic there with with with, with that's all a, that. Yeah, that's essentially a topic for another time. So until next time, I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher, and that was a very DC style episode of SRV. See ya later. Hey, if you want to see any of our previous videos related to this video or just pre watch our previous videos, just click to the side and check it out. Also, you can also check out our other stuff besides this one, including our SRV TV stuff and much much more. All right, see ya.